Good morning, Bimblers. I'm sat on a bench. Good morning, Bimblers. You join me here at Chester Station, my second home. And you may notice that I have a rich baritone voice today. And that's because I've got a bit of a cold. It's not the dreaded Rona. I've done six tests, every one negative. I've just got one of them colds. Do you remember? Like in the good old days. So today, we're off bimbling in this rather clement weather to Ellesmere Port, as the name of the video no doubt suggests. So let's get going. Let's bimble. This is the Shropshire Union Canal, a.k.a. the Shroppy, a.k.a. the Ellesmere Canal. This section was finished in 1797, and it was supposed to make up part of the Ellesmere Canal, which would link the River Severn to the River Mersey via the River Dee. And that would allow them to get coal from Wrexham and take it to Liverpool and send it off around the world, I guess. The original idea for the Ellesmere Canal was supposed to link Shrewsbury to Netherpool, which we now know as Ellesmere Port. And Ellesmere Port is called Ellesmere Port because it links Ellesmere in Shropshire to the Mersey. Now we no longer call it Netherpool. It was all the work of a Thomas Telford. We spoke about him before. He was the person that designed that suspension bridge in Conway. And he's also the person that designed the Menai Bridge, which we will bimble to in the future. 
it just so happens that it's always 20 mile an hour winds in Bangor. My microphone won't stand up to that test. In 1805 they give up extending the Ellesmere Canal because it wasn't quite as popular as they thought it would be and the revenue wasn't high enough. But there's still a link here between the River Dee and the River Mersey and this canal still links onto the network and now forms the Shropshire Union Canal which you can get all the way to Wolverhampton on and what's perfect for us bimblers is it gets us to Ellesmere Port off road let's bimble sound not deep and sexy yesterday I was singing in the house and I was singing Only You by Yazoo and if you're a fan of Yazoo you know it's Alison Moye that sung that song she's what you call a contra alto and I was singing it a semitone higher than her and then I woke up this morning and I sound like John Cash dead as saying beast Anyway, we're here in sunny Ellesmere Port and we've come to visit the National Waterways Museum. But in typical Bimble fashion, we're a tad early. It doesn't open until 10 and it's only 9 now. So I think what we should do 
is bimble to somewhere else and come back. Let's bimble again. Bimble. me is a water tower and it was a water tower for Bowwater's paper mill and by the looks of what's going on around me I think its days might be numbered if you're interested in seeing Bowwater's paper mill in action you should search on YouTube Ellesmere Port Challenge of the Sack 1962 that's a public information film all about how they were starting to use paper sacks as refuse bags and the paper sacks were all made here in Ellesmere Port and in fact Ellesmere Port was where they ran trials for it swapping over some of the council houses for the paper sacks and having new bin lorries that collected the paper sacks and then burying them in landfill and seeing what would happen to the paper and see whether it would biodegrade it's actually a much better idea than our plastic bin bags that we use now but at the time everyone was worried about chopping down trees because they'd spent hundreds of years chopping down trees and nobody had thought about planting new ones. So it was all about conserving paper. And that's why we started using plastic. And now we're lumbered with a load of plastic that won't rot for hundreds of years. The person that's uploaded the video has a channel called Merseyside Films, which I think you should subscribe to. It's full of interesting films all about Merseyside and a few about North Wales right up my street and on top of that I go on Facebook and I post pictures of water towers to the water tower appreciation group and I got 15 likes Hopefully we're okay for wind here and fed up with wind that's all 2022 has been windy it's just windy every weekend when I'm in work not a breath of wind nothing sunny beautiful as soon as it becomes Saturday or Sunday 50 mile an hour winds everywhere and it plays havoc with my microphone and I'm fed up with it now I've finished my rant I'm here at the National Waterways Museum in Ellesmere Port and it's operated by the Canal and Rivers Trust and if you want the lowdown about the River Mersey the Manchester Ship Canal the Shropshire Union Stroke Ellesmere Canal this is the place to come I only just missed a boat going down the Manchester Ship Canal because I was eating two pieces of toast in the cafe but it doesn't matter because there's about 500 boats here this is the National Waterways Museum my favourite boat that they've got here is a concrete barge and I've spoke about concrete barges before and if we're lucky enough in my National Cycle Route 62 video series we shall visit some concrete barges that are sunken on the Manchester Ship Canal we might have to get ourselves into Lim Golf Course but the concrete barge that's here is floating and it's beautiful 
Not only that, they have some Mersey Flats. We spoke about Mersey Flats as well. They're the flat boats that used to go up and down the Mersey, down the Sankey Canal, up and down the River Weaver and the Weaver Navigation. They're the reason why the Sankey Viaduct is so high and the reason why Warrington has a transporter bridge is so that the Mersey Flats, which evidently weren't so flat, could get the sails underneath. And as another bonus to the National Cycle Route 62 video series, we'll be visiting some sunken Mersey Flats. You really should stay tuned for that. If you ever get fed up with looking at boats, there's all the things that go into boats. There's a whole room over there filled with all those painted buckets and little bits of old fashioned things that canal boat workers would have on their canal barges. On top of that, they've got some working diesel and steam engines. They've got a gift shop for all your canal based gifts. And they've got a cafe where I got two pieces of toast. And you get all of that for £9.75. And get on this. You can come back as many times as you like within 12 months. That's brilliant, isn't it? I came about three weeks ago. But unfortunately, my ticket from back then is still on the front of my fridge. So I had to buy a new ticket. But maybe that's an opportunity. I can maybe bring a lady friend here. If you're a single woman in your 30s, and you like long bimbles, and you like visits to very niche museums, perhaps you should get your own resident bimbleist called Kieran. Maybe you should slide yourself very far into my DMs. And get yourself free entry to the National Waterways Museum. <laughs>